Kuna mambo nitaongea. Kuna mkutano mambo yote nitaanza kusema Warumi nane na ishirini na nane. Warumi nane ishirini na nane. Mambo yote utendeka kwa mema kwa wale wameitwa na Bwana. Taifa la Kenya limechaguliwa na Bwana, limeitwa na Bwana. Kwa hivyo kila nchambo katika ili taifa linatendeka kwa wema wa Bwana. Mimi ninasikia ninamshukuru Mungu sana maana wakati nilisema tumetuma upepo mbaya kulingana na neno la Bwana. The bad wind of God as an instrument of destruction or destroy the kingdom of darkness. Nilisema kwamba every wickedness in men in our leaders moja kwa moja ianze kutolewa nguo. Kuna maneno ambayo yamesaculate kuna wakenya wanaofia nataka kuwaonyesha hivi. Mambo yote utendeka kwa mema, si kwa kila mtu, ni kwa yule anafanya ameitwa kulingana na mapenzi ya Bwana. Kuna mkutano ulikuwa pale hata ulitengenezwa na yule alikuwa kingi pin wa ukambani anaitwa Kalonzo Mushoka. Walisema na mkutano wa maombi ya kumshukuru Mungu. Na kwa huo mkutano kuna mambo yaliibuka kwamba Raila anasema Kenya uh, atatafuta vile itangawanywa na wataandika barua maana wamebaguliwa Nikiangalia uongozi wa Uhuru Kenyatta ambao umetoka wakati walisalimiana na huwa anasema shida iliyoko Kenya saa hii sio vile watu wanafikiria Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye uliondoka rais wetu wa ine ile shida umeachia inchi ni kweli haitamaliza inchi we shall overcome face one we overcame you by the word of the law by the mouth of this man and i know i was not alone there was those people who loud loud and clear they told you you meant a wrong decision. It is something astonishing today. Watu wanasema hawataenda maombi ambayo yanaombwa Mungu ili maana prayer means that you are independent. Inamaanisha kwamba wewe kuna nguvu fulani unahitaji kusaidia kusonga mbele. Ni kiburi peke yake ukisikia watu wakiambiwa wamuombe Mungu utasikia mtu anasema hapana hiyo maombi imetosha hakuna haja ya kwenda kwa maombi watu wa aina hiyo ni, ni very of hiyo iko was kabisa watu wanamwabudu shetani wanatumikia madhabahu singini hawana wema wowote hawana mafikira mazuri yoyote hata hawataki Mungu asaidie taifa lakini hakuna shida fanyeni yenu Mungu afanye yake tunafanya yetu nilisema kwamba i'm in charge of security in the nation spiritually i know i'm not alone and i know security is tight devil worshipers devil hunters wale mnajuana na mizimu na masurumbumbu yote wote you can do nothing about what god is doing for this nation you will not stop the good that god has kept for us Esaia hamsini na moja. Mstari wa kwanza hadi wa pili. Nisikilisheni nyinyi mnao tafuta haki. Ninyi mnao mtafuta Bwana. Uangalieni mwamba ule ambao mliotolewa kwa kuchongwa. Na tundu la shimo ambalo mlitolewa kwa kuchimbuliwa. Lukin. Nataka usikia hii. And I want to put it like this.
Hapa Biblia nasema wale watu pekee yao wanatafuta haki. Wale wanaotakia nchi mema, wanaotakia watu wa Mungu mema, au watu wote wanaitwa wenye haki. Wanaotafuta Bwana Mungu aheshimiwe au watu ndiye naye yao. Hali anashangaa wakati mwingine. Unakuta the same people wanasema kushinda kuomba. Wengine wanasema ni wakristo pale. Yaani ndiye naye yetu. Wale watu tunamchua Bwana, tunaotafuta haki. Wale watu tumeokoka inastahili kuwa inafanana na Yesu. Ikifanana na kitu kingine basi. Swali itakuwa ni kwa nini basi? Ndiye na yetu ni tofauti na Yesu. Popote Yesu alienda alitenda mema. Yesu alimwomba Mungu kila siku bila kukoma. Yesu mwenyewe alisema ombeni bila kukoma. Hapa kuna tokea wengine wanasema hawataenda maombi. Ni sababu ni sababu ni sababu. Ni Mungu peke yake. Kama mlikuwa wanaume wakati kulikuwa na kiangazi miaka meine. Na yeye gige hii aka hii mbegu ya madharau Kenya ikuve na ikuve kabisa. Hiyo ndoke kabisa katika mchanga wa Kenya. Maana hata Mungu mwenyewe anasema wanao ni dharau nitawadharau. Wanao ni heshima nitawaheshimu. Ni madharau kubwa. Mtu na masuti yake na chio zake haijalishi ni nani. Alete mandai kwamba kwa nini maombi kwa nini maombi? Na watoto wake wanafuata hiyo. Na wafuasi wake. Kulipokuwa kuna wambewa mfua, hii chakula iko kwa shamba saa hii. Watu wa Machakos, hebu ya semeni haleluya popote mko. Kutoka kola kwenda hivyo, mlipanda chakula mzimu uliopita. Lasia na hiyo chakula hata kutoka kwa mchanga. Kulikuwa na kiangazi cha wayonekana. Wanyama wakafariki. Wana ndamu wakahangaika. Ofu ikaingia kila mahali. The same people wanaosema kusendo maombi. Walikuwa pale wakisema kusinyeshe simple because kuna maombi yamepelekwa pale nyao stadium. Kisas cha nyoka. Brood of vipers. Na nyinyi ni fichwa tutawagonga. Mutwangwa na mawe ya moto ya Bwana. Na vile mnajifanyanga mnajua kutumia mawe. From today I release stones of fire to locate you and then beat you down to ashes like the days of Joshua in the valley of Gibeon Biblia nasema kwamba the perfect prayer of a righteous man availeth much if they pray without ceasing mambo kuhusu na kuomba isiwahi kuwa majadiliano kwako ni Mungu anaombwa na kama unaomba miungu mingine enda ukaomba hiyo miungu yako Uta, utapata kile kinapatikananga huko lakini kama unachua kuna Mungu is a god in heaven bible says so I shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved shall be delivered Nimesilikuwa nasema tu niko pale hata. Usione kama niko pale hata. Ni vile tu kikisasa cha madharau wake na nisinya sana. Mtu kusema watu wasiombe, anasema watu waseme wafanye nini. Mama unaambiwa usiombe jamii ndoa na ndoa inasabaratika. Badala uendelee kumlilia Mungu kama huyu mama Luka 18. Anamlilia Mungu, anamwambia Mungu, Mungu, anaenda kwa chaji, nipe haki yako, nipe haki yako. Na Biblia nasema ni aje wale wanamwendea Mungu kwa haraka hata watimishia haki zao. Mimi ninaamini kwa haraka Mungu anaenda kuponya taifa letu. Kwa haraka uchumi wetu utaenda kuponya. Kwa haraka things will come back to normal. Kuna haya maneno yalikuwa nasemekana nimesikia ikiwa na wavu mingi sana kwamba taifa iende gawanyo na vitu kama zile. There's no problem. Tayari taifa kulingana na ulimwengu wa kiroho ndiye taarifa nataka kupeana pole pole saa hii Malaki 
Malachi chapter 3 and the verses 18. Allow me to read that scripture. Malachi Malachi 3 Malachi Tatu Kumina Nane. The Bible says, Then you shall see again, then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and who does not serve him. Wacha ni seme katika ulimwengu wa kiro. Tayari Kenya imengawanywa na imechukuliwa tayari yote. Kenya imechukuliwa na imechukuliwa na kina nani? Kenya imengawanywa. Vita vinaendelea. Na ninataka tuone imengawanywa aje. Nikina nani wamechukua Kenya maana tayari imengawanywa. Daniel 7:18 Daniel 7 18 Nataka kuwaonyesha ufalume ama taifa iko mikononi ya kina nani but the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Ukisoma hapo 17 na sema, Those great beasts which are four, are four kings which arise out of the earth. In other words, Uyo ni Danieli, alionyeswa katika maono wakati wake, akaambiwa mambo ya maufalume maine ambayo tainuka, lakini ufalume watano ni kama ule unavananiswa na ule uko Kenya saa hii. Because we are talking about the 50th president of the Republic of Kenya, who is Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Dr. William Samuel Ruto, you are there as a chosen vessel. Don't leave an owl. And let me stop there because hapo mbele nataka niongee na wewe. Nitaongea nawe kama mtu wa Mungu. Nitakuongelesha kama mtume. Nitakuongelesha kwa heshima. It is a very sensitive matter ambayo itahitaji uite what uwaulishe maana yake Na undani wake unaweza kuwa nini. Na kama wako. Just as you show. You call me I will get deep. Into what I'm going to tell you. In that next message. 